Updating our breaking news now, we have more information out of the hospital shooting in Tulsa. We, we now know from local reporting by police that the active shooter was in the Natalie building, which is connected to the hospital or just adjacent to it. It contains physician's offices, outpatient surgery center, a breast health center, primarily used for sports medicine and orthopedic surgery. It's part of the St. Francis Hospital complex. We've been told by police that three victims are dead and that the shooter is dead. And he reportedly told multiple people to get out and was looking for someone in particular, but we cannot confirm any details on that matter for now. We do have on the line with us Jamie Fowler, who's a Tulsa City Council member and, and is live on the phone with us. Uh, uh, Council Member Fowler, thank you so much. I wonder, I'm so sorry for you and your community. I wonder how you can update us. Well, Chef, uh, you know, thank you for your comments. Uh, n number one is this, is uh, our, our prayers go out to the victims and their families, and, and it's, a, it's a tragic event. And, you know, what we know so far is that four are dead, including the shooter, and from what we understand is that the shooter took his own life. And um, from what we understand, that the shooter was, we believe, uh, looking for a particular phys physician, and that, uh, that was not able to happen. So uh, he took the lives of some uh, in innocent people. So uh, that's what we know so far. That's kind of the update right in through here. So Jamie Fowler, uh, city council member in Tulsa on the line with us. You mentioned, uh, sir, that the, the gunman was looking for a particular physician. Do we know why? Don't know. And, and, uh, and that is just the the basic scan information that you know that we've received so far and um, I see you know, indications that he had been mentioning without mentioning that doctor's name but that he had been calling out for a particular physician is that your understanding you know what and and that is a new detail to me I'm away from the scene and 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 TPD the Tulsa Police Department have uh, asked people not to be to be there on the scene but we are getting some from remote reports from, from, from the police there at, at the scene. The early reports that we got from police were, <clears throat> council member, that the gunman went into the first floor, began shooting, and then went to the second floor. Are you familiar with this facility there? Uh, I, I am familiar with the building, and I've been in the building. Uh, I've had, uh, I've seen specialists there in that building. And, uh, you know, you have a, uh, uh, a, a lobby and then you know, you can either walk, start walking up to the stairs, or, or take elevators. So, uh, you know, that's that's the layout of the building. Jamie Fowler, stay with us, please. I want to listen into local reporting now from Two News Oklahoma, and we'll be right back to you. Buildings nearby. This was at the Natalie Building, which is just behind those trees. Now, I have spoken to several people who are across the street, kind of camped out here across the street, basically watching the scene unfold there at the Springer Building. Now, that is where a lot of people who work at this building have come across the street and are, as I said, watching the scene unfold, waiting to learn more information and possibly, you know, some of their friends or relatives are in one of these buildings or they were at one point. Um, a couple of people I spoke to said that they almost got caught up in this mess as the police were coming down Yale. They were also they were headed to work. They were going home. They were going to get dinner, but a lot of them did get kind of caught up as the police were coming. So they did come into this parking lot at the Springer building and that's where they have been until the scene probably clears out a little more. I spoke to a woman who's a home health nurse. She said that she has friends in this building and she hopes that they're okay. She, you know, a, a lot of the people here are very shaken up and a lot of the people here say that this isn't necessarily that something that happens in Oklahoma. This isn't something that happens in Tulsa. You know, as everyone knows, everyone usually says, you know, this is not something that happens here at home. And then when it does, it's just devastating and it's shocking. And we have confirmed that four people have died. Now, that does include the shooter. He is one of the four people who have died. But as far as the victims, if they were patients, if they worked there, that is unknown. We're still waiting to gather and get more information. But we will be here. We will be at the scene. Local reporting from 2 News Oklahoma, our NBC affiliate there, and we thank them.